Welcome back to Electronics with Vivek Comi. And today, as you can see in the title, we're going to be doing a lecture on how to design a PCB. So what is a PCB for the first question? So instead of having a breadboard and the Pi Pico, whatever microcontroller, how do you think they're going to put all of this stuff into your computer, into your phone, whatever you're watching this on? So they don't actually just stuff it into a piece of plastic case. They actually design a PCB. This is a PCB. So it's much more compact, as you can see, compared to this. And it's way easier to put components on. Not actually, really. But it's more secure, and it can be easily transported. transported. You make it customized colors, uh, and you can also make it as cool and fancy as you can. So you can either get it soldered on, as I've done over here. I soldered it a couple of minutes ago. Or you can ask JLC PCB, which is the, is the company that we, I'm going to be using today, to basically just make the PCB all by themselves and send it to you. But I would recommend sorting it on by yourself. So the software that we're going to be using is J no Easy EDA. So you can either install the app, as you can see over here, is the app, or you can go into the online version. So a PCB is basically a conductive layer routed with like mainly copper. And it's basically getting laminated on with pieces of plastic, which have uh, silicon on it that can show you can customize what it wants, what you want to say on it, uh, like what you got here. So let me bring this a bit close. This is an electronic organ, by the way. Uh, so as you can see, uh, these are the notes: C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. They're all going to be on the silicon. And then it's going to be just heated up inside like little vats. I can post a link in the uh, description of my video so you can see the whole process of how the, uh, the PCB is made. So now let me introduce you to Easy EDA. So I recommend it doing it on your online version. So instead of installing the app as I've done over here. So what you have to do is you have to go on to Chrome, Chrome's better, and then you can type easyeda.com. And as you can see, you've got this uh, over here. I've already created the account uh, like a couple of minutes ago. And you, can, you have to create an account to make your PCB. It's completely free and so let's go on to this easy EDA so you have to click on easy a designer let me reduce my videos a bit too big here okay so easy a designer so once it's done that it, it will show you on where everything's going to be so you've got here your new project, which we'll be clicking in the moment. Everything over here is going to be there. And I'll basically show you along. If you want more help, uh, you can go onto their YouTube channel. They've also got a ton of tutorials. So now let's create a project. We're, we're going to make an LED go on. So LED project. It has to have more than four letters for uh, for project name, by the way. So once you got here, first of all, whatever whatever you're going to do, first save it. Control S is the easiest way, and it's saved. It will have a notification over there, saved successfully. Okay, so now we're on our workspace area so this is where the schematic you're going to put your schematic for your pcb over here 
and you can then convert it onto a PCB file where you're going to route all the copper, and then you go and order it on a thing like JLC PCB or something else. The main places where you're going to use for the menus are file, design, where you convert the schematic, and that's just about it for this tutorial. So now what we're going to do is we're going to first create a schematic. So a schematic is basically with electronic and symbols, we're going to make a basically a, a drawing of what it's going to be. And then with the PCB file, we're going to actually properly route all the wires, what we made in the schematic, and we're going to order it by via that way. So how do we make a circuit using an LED? So first, what do you need? Wires, resistor, LED, and power source. So first, we're going to tackle the, uh, the LED and the resistor. So where do you find those? So as you can see, on the side, you've got projects with all your projects. I just made this project to, to, as like a demo. And you've got Design Manager. And in Design Manager, you can just uh, a bit more organize all your stuff. E-Library, which we're going to be using right soon. Library, which is a bit more part. So this E-Library is not that big. So if you were not found what you want there, you can go over here and you can search something like, I don't know, uh, PyPico, which is, or RFID, RFID. So you can get RFID tags and everything. So and you're going to order from JCPCB over here. So first, LED and a resistor. So, where do you find the LED? So, the LED symbol is this. But before we're going to do that, we have to press on here. And we're going to put it, if you're going to solder it, which we're going to do, is we have to put, uh, select it. Remember, it's going to be selected to this one once you first make an account. You have to select it to the 5 millimeters. What It doesn't matter which one unless you want to order the parts directly from them. So you're going to click on it, and it will drag it on to here. So let me just zoom in a bit. So here is your LED. So do we want two LEDs? Why not? We're going to have two LEDs to make it a bit more interesting. And we're going to have two resistors. Resistors symbols is this. So we got to make sure again that it's on the R axial 5 millimeters US. So it's going to be selected to the first one when you first get it. But you've got to select this because if you're going to solder it, you need like the little holes at the bottom so you can place those components in. Let me first just enlarge my video a bit. It's not going to do any harm. Okay, so now let's get the resistors. So let's put one resistor over here and one resistor over here. So as you can see, we have LEDs, we've got resistors, but what else do we need? We need the power source and we need wiring. So now let's tackle the power source. So for power sourcing, I'm not going to actually be using, well, we are going to be using, ground and VCC. So one, if you actually want to solder them on, you need something called a Berg. So if we're going to go into the library, we're going to search up Berg 3. And then once you've got it here, you can view what it's going to be like. So that basically has three ports, which you can select it on and put other wires into it. So let's just put it there for now. You right click to delete the ones that's doing that. So right click there. And you can move this wherever you want. Let's put it over there for now. Actually, let's move it a bit there. So now we need the ground and the VCC. Ground, VCC. So 
say it's five volts and the ground. That's how you make a circuit. And we're going to be routing these into here. So one is going to BCC, two is going to ground. So these green things are basically your wires. And now what we're going to do is going to make everything go together. So we're going to, uh, once we order this, once you've ordered this, you're going to have like a pinhole connector. You're going to need to get a battery socket and you're going to put batteries in it and then it should power it up. But remember to put it to port one and port two. So now we're going to wire VCC to the red. No, not a red one, to this first LED. Uh, and let's also wire it to this LED. So ignore these dots. Uh, we're now going to put it to the resistors. It's very easy to use. That's why it's called easy EDA. Okay, and now we're going to reroute the circuit. So you can put this all the way to here, and then we get the other one. Oh, no, Interval Z always works. You can reroute it all the way to ground. And then we're going to get the other resistor and route it all the way to ground. And then we got our circuit. So this is the very simple circuit. So let's do it again. So we Berg, so the power source. Power will go over here to the two LEDs. And then from the two LEDs, it will pass the resistor, so it limits the amount of current. Goes down under here, back to ground, and it completes the circuit. So now, We've made our schematic, but this is not that neat, is it? So as you can see, we don't we don't want all of these LED CH five LMR. So let's just say let's, you can double click on it and delete everything that it says. We're going to call it a uh, red LED because once I've ordered it, I want it to be red. And this one can be blue. A blue LED. Ignore these uh, 1K, that's just 1K ohms, and that's the default. And you can leave it there if you want, because I don't think it wants to go. So now let's rename this Berg. We can delete that actually. We can delete this actually. There we go. And this one, we can say this is power. So standing for power source. We can place it right there. So there is our circuit. So now let's save it again, control S. And it should put up, poke up the notification like right where my camera was. So now we've done our schematic. So as I said before, what we have to do is we have to go on to our design and we have to convert schematic to PCB. And then you have to check for net. So it'll double check if it's right. So now look, power three is wrong. So now let's just put this as it, as it goes into ground, because I can go back to one. So now let's try and save it, it save it again, and it should be all right if I can see. There we go. So it's now checked everything. There's nothing wrong with it. And now let's 
apply. So what it's saying here is it's going to be in the units M millimeters. There's going to be two layers of copper on your PCB, and it's going to be a rectangular PCB. You can change it to circular, round, rectangular, custom. But I'm going to do it as a round rectangular. Why not? Actually, no, rectangular. So ignore these. You can adjust it once you get to there. So we're going to press apply. And now, here, all messed up and tangled is your circuit. So you've got your resistors, your LEDs, and your power. So now, what we have to do now is put them all onto here. But I think this is a bit too small. So let me place this over there, and this one over there, and then this one over there. So it's all nice and neat. Make sure there's no gaps like I just did right there. And you got to make it rectangular. I'm going to make it rectangular in a moment once I get to this edge. Now we got our enlarged rectangle PCB. So now we're going to put the power into here. So just to make it a bit more organized, to make sure there's a little bit of a gap at the end because you don't want them all crammed and it's easier to solder like that. So let's bring the LED two up. Right, let's bring all of them into the PCB board. Okay, so now we've got everything on. Let's rearrange the LED ones on the top. Let's actually bring them over here and then the resistors can go over there. It's a bit of a mess right now. Okay, so now we've done that, let's just organize it a little bit more. I don't like the state of that. Okay, so now we've done this, I think that's all what we need to do, I'm just a bit scared of these all overlapping and making me a bit confused. So now what we can do is we can route it. So what we're going to do for routing is we're going to use the track. So let me just figure out how I'm going to organize it and come back to you. I just realized there's nothing wrong with this circuit, so we're going to get the routing thing and we're going to put the power. Make sure these lines are not as in 90 degrees because these are the little things. So let me just enlarge over here. They are these like light green lines that you can easily see. Like over there, ignore my bad soldering. There. So now let's connect them. So it's basically dot to dots, not that hard. I mean, and then what we're going to do it next is here to make sure you get this right. So let's first go at the ground. There and this, no, uh, this here, and then what's next? This to there, this to there, and this. No, not that control Z. I don't think control Z can work. 
Oh, because wait, let me just exit this because this copper wire is in the way. Let's just delete this, retract this to there. No, I don't think that. So let's redo that. Sorry. There. And then we're going to route it there. So I think that one's done. So now we need to get this one to this bit over here. So I think the best way to do that, to route it underneath here. Oh, but that one's not gonna be in the way. How about we do it like a bit risky, we go under. Yeah, we're gonna do that. There we go. So now we've made our PCB. So uh, be proud of yourselves. We've done lots now. And as you can see, it, that's how it's all going to be. So let's first save this. And we're going to do file and generate PCB fabrication file or Gerber. So now we're going to check for any mistakes. So here's what they're going to check, and no mistakes. Good. So now you can either generate Gerber and go to a different place other than JNC PCB, but I recommend doing it just from JNC PCB. Ignore these, you can customize these later. So now we're on the ordering stage. We've done the schematic, we've done the PCB, and now we're going to order it. So now it might take a while, but it, here it is. And quite wow okay so now as you can see this is quite an ugly color to be on a screen and even more fr4 fr4 is good that's a good material you don't need to do aluminium layers too ignore that dimensions don't change that because that's what you made in the pcb file pcb quantity you could the minimum you get is five because you get you they make it on a big sheet and then they cut it out so you can't just ask for one get one and then delivery format single pcp yes and then pcb thickness leave that and then your color you can customize it as much as you want i'll choose black because that's kind of cool for this one because it's just contrasting to the copper and what you have to do instead of with lead you have to do lead free because that's what you in europe you can't get lead with lead ones and now you know gold fingers and all these castellated holes holes we don't need any of those and as you can see the price for this is three pounds ten you can uh, do this but if you're from the uk a lot there's going to be a lot of shipping price like 20 quid thing is so now we have done making our pcb so over here you can see that that over here you can see that you, there's little holes this is where you're going to solder it from and these are the leds these are the the three berg that we made so that's it i hope you're proud of yourself the step by step with me uh, it's been a decently long video and um, thanks for watching until next time bye